Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to program these pads for the Akai MPK Mini Synth. Now, I think the first thing you're going to notice when you plug this any, into any music program and apply a drum sample is that the pads themselves don't really make any musical sense. So, for instance, you know, where's the snare sound? Where's the bass drum? So, you're going to want to reprogram these pads. So the first thing you'll have to do in order to do this is go to the Kai website and download the MPK MIDI editor. I'm not going to ex explain how to do that. If you open up the directions that come with this, it'll have the website in there and you can go there and download. It's actually pretty self-explanatory. Now then once you download it, uh, you're, the first thing you're going to want to do before attempting to reprogram any of this is close any music programs that you have open. Uh, if you have anything running in the background, this just won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and close GarageBand. And then once I've done that, I'm going to open up the editor. And it should look something like this. Okay. Okay, so you first want to make sure that the texture device, you're going to go over here to get under program one. It'll probably take a second. Click your device, select apply, click OK. All right, now you're ready to reprogram these. So we're gonna just keep this simple. So one resource I found to be helpful for reprogramming drum samples is this website, soundprogramming.net. They have all these two digit uh, MIDI codes that correspond to different sounds. So like in general, 30, for like, and, I mean, this isn't 100% accurate, but for most drum samples, you know, uh, 36 tends to be the bass drum, 38 tends to be the snare, and 42 is usually a closed hi-hat sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and program those in here. So I'll go to pad one, I'm gonna click in here, make this 36, make this 38, I'm gonna make this one 40, Two. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to go back over here, click send, and then once you've done that, you can either, if you want to save your settings, you could do so here, just click save, um, but you don't have to do that. So for now, we're just going to close out of this, and then you'll have to unplug and replug your instrument so i'm going to do that now and then I'm going to open up garage band again and all right let's see how we did yep so there you go um that's that's basic that's basically it. And obviously, I'm gonna go back to the editor here. You can you can do this for both. So you have uh, two methods of storing samples here. So you have bank A, and you press E of bank B. So bank A, the green corresponds to there, and then bank B is highlighted in red. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. So hope you found this helpful. Thanks.